Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. My name is Denise Cox. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Trail, British Columbia, and welcome to my craft room, to Bird's Nest Designs, and of course, to Tutorial Tuesday. So today is Tuesday, July 25th, 2023, and we are live here at 10 a.m. Pacific time every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. And so today, we have Tutorial Tuesday featuring the adorable photopolymer stamp set, Silly Goose. We focused on this one yesterday as well, and we made a super sweet card right here using our challenge of the week, our sketch challenge. So if you missed that, go back to my YouTube videos um, and check this one out, or you can check it out on Facebook or on my blog. Um, all of the information, how to link up with me, how to find me, all those things, um, are on my website here at createwithbirdsnest.ca. So you can find everything I talk about always will be there as well, okay? So today um, is the what, last Tuesday of the month. That is crazy. Like, I don't even know where, I don't even know where to begin. I don't know where July went. <laughs> it's just gone. First month of summer and it's just gone. So um, it's been busy. It's been really busy here in the Stampin' world. And so a um, couple of things that are coming to an end that I just want to touch on real quick before we get to stamping. So Stamping Up is ha has their bonus days promotion where you spend $60 and you earn a $6 coupon to redeem in August. So that ends July 31st. So get those orders in so you get those free coupons to use in August. Um, my summer watermelon surprise envelope promotion <laughs> ends july 31st as well and so as i mentioned yesterday i have one left one of those cute little watermelon striped envelopes left and then i'm going to be getting in those fun new cactus ones which um, amazon has shipped so they should be here any day um so i'm super excited to stuff those full of goodies and send them off to you as a thank you for shopping with me um and when you shop with me this month so the rest of the month till July 31st, please use this postcode if your order is under $200. Um, and then you get all of my freebies and all of my um, gifts and tokens and all the things. Now, if your order is over $200, I don't want you to use this code because then you get the host rewards yourself. But I will still send you one of those cute little envelopes stuffed full of goodies. So don't think you're going to miss out. Just don't use this code if it's over $200, okay? All right, so... We've got bonus days ending. We've got my watermelon envelope ending. My customer loyalty token ends July 31st as well. And I have some fun new things coming in August that I will roll out to you later in the week. Um, so be prepared for that. You're going to want to jump on and take advantage of all these fun things starting in August. So, oh, good morning, Tina. Welcome. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about what is exciting as a demonstrator this week. So, all of us Stampin' Up! demonstrators get to see the brand new July, not July, <laughs> September to December mini catalog starting tomorrow. Like we get to see it tomorrow, July 26th. And it's not live for customers until September. So I am super pumped. I'm super excited. We get to view that PDF tomorrow afternoon. Um, and then we get to start ordering from it on August 2nd, which is awesome. Um, super exciting. One of the huge perks of being a demonstrator is that we get to order from these catalogs a whole month early. Now, if you are like, oh my goodness, I'm missing out. I don't want to miss out. I want to be part of this. You can join my team today or tomorrow morning and you can still get to see that catalog live at the same time we all do. So I'm going to post in the comments here. I can pull up the link. I did have a link. Hold on, what's happened to my link? My screen over here has gone wonky. So maybe I'm not gonna post the link right now. <laughs> I thought I was going to. Um, my screen is not letting me. I don't know what's happening, guys, but if you go to my website again, there's a click at the top, it says join, and you can go in there and you can join my team. When I've done the video, I will go in and cl click the link into the comments on both YouTube and Facebook so that you guys can join my team if that's something you're interested in doing and get to shop from this brand new catalog. Yay. Plus you get a discount. I didn't even mention that part. That's the best part. You get a discount on all those fun things that you want to buy. All right. Hi, Kathy. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a wonderful morning. Okay. So have I touched on everything? I think so. Can you guys tell I'm excited? Tomorrow is that new catalog. And I don't know about you, but holiday crafting, fall themed crafting, they're my fave. I love them. They're super fun. I love Halloween. I love Thanksgiving. 
like the fall thanksgiving -y stuff i love christmas of course and then all the leaves and the fun and oh my goodness i'm just so excited so if you want to get on this excitement train with me join my team um if you, and jump on to watch that or to check out that digital catalog starting tomorrow okay who wants to stamp <laughs> okay let's turn the, ca the camera down and we're gonna get to go on our tutorial tuesday video and as i mentioned we're live every morning at 10 a.m every it's not every morning every monday tuesday and friday morning at 10 a.m pacific time so if you're here and you're watching please say hello i love to hear from you and i love to see who i'm stamping with here in my craft room so today we are going to use of course the silly goose because that's what i've chosen to be my feature of the week um so we're going to use this adorable stamp set again. Now I'm also going to pull in the beautiful balloon stamp set. All right. We're going to use the blending brush. Of course, you can see that sitting right here. We're going to use some of these tinsel gem three pack. I just love these tinsel gems, you guys. There's like a three pack and a four pack. And it just means simply how many colors are in there. And so this one has these gorgeous palette. So it's got blue, purple, and like a greeny teal color. Love them. And they're going to go perfectly. Oh, got one stuck on my finger here. <laughs> they're going to go perfectly with our card. And then we're going to use some of the bright and beautiful designer series paper. Now I've probably shown you guys this paper before because I love it. But just in case I haven't, let me quickly flip through it for you. This is bright and beautiful six by six paper. You get 48 sheets. So you have four of each pattern. Um, it is one that you are going to be able to use all year round because it's, you know, so, so pretty and so versatile. The colors are gorgeous. Um, and because it's with the balloons, people always think, oh, it's birthday paper. But really, honestly, it can be anything. Um, it's the paper that I'm featured in my Creatively Hatched July Club this month. And so everyone's going to get a half pack of this gorgeous paper. Do you guys see those patterns? Oh, can't really see this fun stamped one here. Aren't those fun? And then watch what happens when we flip them over. Even more fun. Look at that. I just love these. And there is one missing because I've used it all. But there is another fun rainbow striped one like this um, in there as well. So that is a super fun one. Now, if you are part of my Creatively Hatched Club, the last of that order is coming today. And so I hope to get them out to you in the mail tomorrow. So that's Wednesday the 26th. Um, if all goes well. So as long as it all arrives today, they should be in the mail tomorrow. All right. And the new Creatively Hatch for August is going to be released real soon. Okay, let's stamp. All right. I have got some pieces already designed here. We're going to use the beautiful and soft Lemon Lolly um, card base. So this is just eight and a half by five and a half. I've scored it at four and a quarter to make our standard card front. I'm going to use my bone folder, of course, to burnish that edge. And then I've got a piece of designer series paper from that bright and beautiful. How fun is this? I just love this pattern right here. I love the colors in it. And of course, I really am drawn to circles. So this measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And that's going to front cover our entire card front. Um, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and add that with glue. Now, when I use this like this, when I use designer series paper to cover the entire front, I almost always use liquid glue because I get that wiggle room that I like. So I can wiggle it around until it's covering the whole front. Whereas if I use my snail or not my snail, oh my goodness, that's going back. If I use my seal, it's kind of like a one and done. Once it's down, it's really a challenge to move it. So we're going to wiggle this around till we get it right where we want it. And now we have a gorgeous patterned card front. Okay. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take a piece of basic white. And I've already forgotten the measurement that I just cut this morning. So where is my ruler even? And all of these measurements are always included on my blog post and my YouTube, um, or not my YouTube, they're on my blog post. So if you miss them, then head on over to that and you can find them. So this is three and a half by four and three quarters, basic white. And the ink pads that we're going to need for today's card are Lemon Lolly and Misty Moonlight. So let's take our Lemon Lolly with a blending brush and we're going to get a bit of this ink on here. 
and we're just going to rub off a little bit here first. I always do that so we don't get that blob of ink first. And then I'm just gonna blend some of this beautiful lemon lolly into the center of our paper. Now I use these blending brushes for this a lot. I love just that little pop of color um, without it being, you know, super dark. So that's really fun. I love lemon lolly. Oh, thanks, Kathy. I'm glad you like the colors. I love these as well. Okay, so now that we have that done, what I want to do is I'm going to take the Let's Get Our Celebration on. That is from the beautiful balloon stamp set. I've got it right here. And what I did, because these are photopolymer, this is, well, let me show you. I'm going to take it off. I was being uber prepared, but let me just show you. So if I just was to lay that on my paper, that is the arch that that stamp is meant to be in and in meant in quotations but i want it to be a little bit more stretched out so that's easy to do with a photopolymer what i'm going to do is stick it on my block kind of on one end and then i'm going to stretch it out to make it a larger arch and you'll see why as we get to going to this card so i want that arch to be more stretched out than it was intended to be okay so you can just wiggle it around it's not cool love photopolymer stamps okay so now we're going to take misty moonlight and we're going to stamp this right here on our yellow perfect okay now while we have the misty moonlight out i am going to take my silicone mat so i can see where i'm stamping and i've got a tiny little banner from the stylish shapes dies right here out of basic white and then in this adorable stamp set, this adorable silly goose, we're going to use this Goosebumps. So cute. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take Goosebumps with Misty Moonlight and we're going to stamp that right in the center of that cute little banner like that. So again, stylish shapes banners. If you guys don't have them, you need them. Everybody needs those dies in their life. Okay, <clears throat> so here we are back to our card front. We've got our little banner. And then I've got a scrap piece here of white and I wanna use memento. So we do, I forgot to tell you, we're gonna need memento, but we always need memento when we're coloring. So I've got my memento ink and then we're gonna use this super adorable fist pumping goose. I think they are, are geese. I think they are adorable. So we're gonna use them and we're gonna stamp them. In memento now I want to make sure it's nice and ink it's a fairly large size stamp so making sure it's all nice and inked up and we're going to stamp them on here oh my gosh you guys how cute are they seriously like these geese they just make me smile They're making me smile on this Tuesday morning all right so we have that now we are going to color and fussy cut those but because we're also going to do a bit of coloring on the inside i went ahead and i already fussy cut them and colored them so here they are right here and i just used gray granite for the geese and daffodil delight for their beaks and their feet like aren't those sweet you guys what do you think and I just fussy cut them. It didn't take a lot. They're not like a huge amount. And I didn't go in between the feet either. You can be as detailed with your fussy cutting as you want. And I chose not to go into those little bits. So we're gonna use this. And we're gonna take our little piece here. And our Misty Moonlight is just an eighth of an inch bigger than our white piece was, okay? So that is gonna go on here. And I have my white glue out, so that's what we're going to use. So I'll put that on. Again, it gives us a bit of wiggle room. Sometimes when you're using just these small eighth of an inch um, increments, it's nice to have that wiggle room because it's a little, the border is a little less forgiving than when you have the quarter inch. Okay, so there is our misty moonlight background. Then we'll take our little cute little geese. Oh my gosh, you guys, seriously, they're cute. And I'm going to take some dimensionals. And uh, looks like I have some remnants here. So this is just from my paper pumpkin dimensionals at one point. So that's why it's a slightly smaller size sheet of them. But I don't let any of these go to waste. So we're just going to trim these up. I usually just go like this. 
and get them all cut apart. And then they're easy to use when I need these dimensionals. So I'm just gonna peel them off just like I would any other one. I don't waste anything when it comes to dimensionals because I go through so very many. And then we've got our little minis over here. So we can use those on the geese heads here. And then because I didn't cut the feet apart, we can actually fit one down there as well. Oops. Yeah, dimensional backings go on everywhere here. Okay, so let's pop this guy and we're gonna center him kind of. I didn't do a very good job centering that sentiment, but that's okay. I'll show you the card, I my sample card. It actually turned out a little, the sentiment turned out a little bit better, but isn't that cute? Let's get our celebration on. And then we're gonna take our little goosebumps banner that we created. And we'll put a couple of minis behind that. We'll center that below our geese. Okay, how cute is this? And then we'll take it and put it underneath, or underneath, we'll put it on top of our card base so we get that color popping in from behind. Just like that. Okay, and we're gonna come back and add those tinsel gems I talked about earlier. We're gonna add those at the end. But for right now, look at that card front. Isn't that sweet? All right, so now for the inside, we can't have a naked card insert. So we're gonna take our four by five and a quarter piece of basic white. And here's where we're gonna do a little bit of extra stamping and a little bit of coloring. Um, so let's take this adorable goose holding the balloon because you guys, why not? He's cute, super cute. We're going to stamp him down here in the corner. Okay. And then using our misty moonlight, so we can put this memento away. We're going to use this other birthday saying that's in the stamp set. And it says, a silly ghost, a silly ghost, a silly goose told me it's your birthday. And then if it was a different card you were making, you could put... And this silly goose forgot inside. So that's super cute, right? Because how many of us forget birthdays and think of them after? And yeah. So anyway, I think this stamp set is definitely one to add to your collection. Um, and in the description of today's videos, whether you're watching on Facebook or on YouTube, there is a link in there to click on to order the stamp set right to your or to add it right to your cart in my online store. And the host code's even already attached for you. So it makes it super easy. So let's color our little goose. We're gonna start with Daffodil Delight. And that end of mine is toast. I'm waiting for my, oh, I'm waiting for my new one to come in. I don't know what happened to it. So we're just gonna add some yellow to his beak. And this is a dark yellow. And to his little feet here. And then let's color his hat, party hat with stripes of yellow. And then we'll use our light yellow to fill in the rest of the beak. And the rest of his feet. Adorable, adorable, adorable. And then I like to use gray granite. I think that's a really fun color for these geese. So we're gonna use that quickly and color him in here. Okay. He is so, so sweet. And I think this stamp set is $34 here in Canada, if I remember correctly. Um, and so worth, you get so many great sayings and these cute little imagery of the geese. Okay, so he's all outlined in dark gray granite, same as I did for those ones on the front that I colored ahead of time. And then I'm just going to fill this in with the light. And get them all nice and colored in. Oh my gosh, so cute, so cute. Then let's use our Misty Moonlight and we're gonna make a nice, fun blue balloon. So I want my dark Misty Moonlight and I'm going to color around the outside of the edge of the balloon. And then I'm just gonna kind of come in in a couple sections a little bit darker. And then while we're at it, let's color in the other stripes of his party hat. Okay. And then we'll color this in blue. 
if you go a little bit more along the edges, you create that kind of highlight naturally on that balloon. So if you can see that there, how fun is that? Okay, take that silicone mat out. We're gonna now attach our insert to the inside of our card. Such a pretty, pretty color, this new lemon lolly. I'm just loving it. Okay. How cute is that? I would love to get this on my birthday, wouldn't you? Super sweet. Okay, now let's add our tinsel gems. So the tinsel gems here, remember this is the three pack. These are one, um, one of two tinsel gems in our catalog. This is the three pack. The other one is a four pack. So it has four different colors. Um, for this one, we're going to use the blue because it ties in with the other color scheme we've used. And I'm going to take a large one. There's two different sizes of each color. Let's just put a large one here. And then we'll put a smaller one at either end of this sentiment on the arch. And then I think we're done. What do you guys think? Isn't that sweet? I just love these silly goose. They are fun, 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 fun. So let me show you side by side the cards so far we've created this week using silly geese or silly goose. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I just love them. I really, really do. I think they are super sweet. Um, something you could use for any occasion, really. Um, just somebody to give to somebody who would appreciate these cute little um, characters and the fun little sayings. So there you have it. There is our Tutorial Tuesday and our Make It Monday um, using the Sketch Challenge. I hope that you've enjoyed today's tutorial. I'm going to pop back on screen here if my... There we go. It did cooperate. Awesome. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I love stamping with you every morning and I'm so happy to have you join me here. Um, if you like today's video and you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you're on Facebook, um, please give me those thumbs up, show me the hearts, join my page or my group, whichever you're watching from. And I would love it if you shared my video, because if you like stamping, chances are some of your friends would love to find and stamp along with us too. So I would appreciate all of that. Um, and I'm so happy to have you here today. I hope you have a beautiful Tuesday afternoon. Um, enjoy the rest of your week. And I will be back on Friday, July 28th at 10 a.m. Mount, oh my gosh, Pacific time. I have mountain time on my brain because I'm so excited about the catalog tomorrow and Stamping Up released it in mountain time. So <laughs> um, 10 a.m. Pacific time, Friday morning. I will be back with a fancy fold card using the, of course, the super sweet silly geese, silly goose silly goose. <laughs> um, and so if you want to add this to your cart, remember the link is in the video. Um, and if you want to just enter the code, it's 160866. Don't forget to use that host code because if your order is over $60, I'm going to send you one of those fun jam packed envelopes. Um, and you don't want to miss out because everybody who's gotten them so far, I've gotten so many amazing comments saying, thank you so much. I'm so excited. Um, and I love hearing that. I love it really does make my day. So thanks, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you all Friday.